Hello, I'm Dr. Greg Simcoe, and another pattern or another possible um, symptom, or not symptom, but uh, problem with the uh, thyroid gland can actually be pituitary suppression secondary to cortisol elevations. Now, the pituitary gland, again, is very sensitive to, um, to cortisol. Cortisol is produced by your adrenal glands, and adrenal glands if you're under a great deal of stress or chronic stress, can actually cause elevations in cortisol levels, which cause a suppression in the pituitary gland, which would effectively reduce the amount of thyroid-stimulating hormone being released by the pituitary gland. The other two um, types of uh, problems that can affect the pituitary gland are chronic illnesses, um, uh, also sugar imbalances, like dysglycemia. In other words, uh, your sugar levels are not uh, well controlled by your body. Either you have something called hypoglycemia, which means you have too low blood sugar, or hypoglycemia, too high blood sugar. So the three things that can affect cortisol levels, which would affect the hypothalamus, again, and the periventricular nerve cells, or we'll call them PBN for short, can actually cause a suppression of the pituitary gland which would also cause a reduction in the amount of hormones released by the thyroid gland. So you see, it's not just the thyroid gland we're worried about, or should be worried about, it's actually um, the other levels, the hypothalamus, pituitary, and those types of things that can affect it. Bringing also in adrenal glands, chronic stress. Now, these things, whether it's hypoglycemia, or chronic infection, or... Um, uh, adrenal gland uh, over uh, stimulation or stress can all be checked and can all be corrected and taken care of without the use of um, Synthroid or Levoxyl or whatever you're taking to try and calm your uh, thyroid symptoms or correct your thyroid symptoms, which if it's not working, then that is not the drug of choice to take care of. You need something else. You need You need someone that can look at the whole system, right from the hypothalamus to the pituitary to the thyroid to the conversion of the thyroid hormone that's produced by the thyroid into the active form so that I can actually be used by your body.